Corrosion control is important to us because it prevents lead and copper corrosion out in the system. Um, you know, most, almost all of our distribution lines are either cast iron, or plastic. Um, so we don't have any lead transmission lines or any significant copper lines um, that would cause corrosion out in the system. So we feed this as a uh, preventative for our customers because you know the, the vast majority of lead and copper that you see in water treatment as at, at, in the customer's plumbing. So uh, you know water is a universal solvent. Give it enough time it will dissolve and, and work through anything. So we, we feed a, a zinc orthophosphate and uh, we do a pH adjustment to make sure that the water is uh, passive and less corrosive when it enters our customers' homes. If we look at the, the chemical itself, the zinc orthophosphate, uh, zinc corrodes quicker than anything. So we're giving the water zinc to work against. And when it works against that, you know, when it eats that zinc up in the water, it, it satisfies that corrosive potential in the water. So uh, something that's higher, harder for water to dissolve like lead and copper, it doesn't have that same energy that it would if it didn't have that zinc to work with. The other part of that, phosphate, um, coats the pipes. Um, so basically what it, it does is it just paints a protective layer on the, the plumbing to further shield that copper line, the lead solder, the lead pipe, what have you. So we do pH, we got continuous pH analyzers where we're looking at the pH to make sure that we're keeping it in that range that's acceptable out in the system. Uh, we also, you know, our operators grab samples daily of our phosphate feeds to make sure that we're feeding enough phosphate because we have, you know, a range that we want to maintain. We, we want to stay in the 1.1 to 1.3 milligrams per liter dosage. Uh, we also do uh, coupon out in the system. We've got uh, coupon racks at various points out in the system where we put mild steel and once a quarter we go out there, we, we harvest those steel from those coupon racks and we send them off to be evaluated. We see if they lose weight, they gain weight. If they're losing weight, then we know we, you know, our water's slightly corrosive and we need to, we need to do an adjustment. If they gain, we're feeding too much. So ideally we want to stay right there where we're not gaining or losing. So uh, that's a, a step above uh, what many utilities do. But it, to me it's a, a great preventative because it will show up in that before it would in a customer's home. So we, we are in reduced monitoring on lead and copper due to our non-detects over the years. Uh, we're coming up on our three year uh, time frame in July where we're going to be sampling again. But with the new regulations that's coming out, everybody's going back to standard monitoring where they'll have to go to annual sampling, um, at least till we can establish that, you know, our water is where the EPA and North Carolina Department of Environmental Quality says it should be, and then we can apply for reduced monitoring again. Uh, just know that we're doing everything we can as a utility to prevent that from, you know, being an issue for our customers.